Boy, welcome to Dwarf and Kager. I'm Tanner. And I'm Rob. And today we are reviewing Yingling's Black and Tan. Thank you so much, Todd, for gifting this to us. I cannot wait to get into this. Thank you to the Todd Father. I, <laughs> ooh, new name, coin it. Hashtag Todd Father. Um, this, um, these damn millennials. I know, right? Love, love Yingling's. Pretty much I've enjoyed everything from this their This is brewery. my favorite thing from, obviously I've had this before because... Cap out of the bag now. Have it. Um, it's very good. But I do want to say that if you'll notice, we're not standing distance outside because it is a whole new ball game. We've made out six. I was going to say three times, but really it's six times when you break down the two sets. Anyway, let's get in there. Phase three. We're back. Whoa, look at that. Happy time conversations, I assure you. All right, so um, you can see through it, honestly, but it's, I mean, it's black. It's like a, it's like a weak coffee. It's black and tan. <laughs> i tell you what, though, it smells delicious. A light roast. A light roast, a little chocolate hint, maybe a little bit of bitter on the back there. Maybe a little bit. All right, let's get into it. I think we should get into it. Cheers. Mm, cheers. Mm. That's beautiful. Smooth. Um, chocolatey sensation, but not necessarily flavor. A good uh, a good blend between the dark and the light. Uh, it's got all the smooth characteristics of an easy drinking lager and the roastiness of maybe like a porter. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really lives up to the black and tan. It's delicious. I was so excited when I saw Todd pull this one out of the bag because... I was like, yes. So, uh, yes. like traditionally, a black and tan is like a uh, a dark beer and like a lighter lager or a uh, bitters, which is what I've had. I've had um, a Guinness Harp and a Bass, and that's the traditional black right. and tan. That's and when you put it when you put it together, it actually they pour it over a spoon, and you see the difference between colors in the in the actual uh, glass. And then when you drink it, it tastes like a milkshake because you know. Delicious. Magic. Yeah, magic. But I will say, Yingling's, like every other beer I've ever tried from them, they do a fantastic job at this. They really put the attention to detail. It's not too complex. It's not too... Because complex has a T in it. Yeah, I was getting ready to, uh, <laughs> to ask you when they started spelling it that way. Complex. Um, but it's, it's simple enough that you can enjoy it while grilling and not think about it. It's complex enough that, I mean, if you wanted to sit down and sip it and really enjoy some of the deeper flavors, you could too. It's an excellent beer. It's a fantastic I, beer. I, I give it a 4.8. We give it a 4.8 as well. It's delicious. Really, really good. So, like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, follow us on Instagram, on Facebook. If you want to find out a way to support the shenanigans that we have here at Dwarven Kegger, you can hit us up on that. Patreon link below where you will find all sorts of fun shenanigans. Also, check out our other beer reviews, budget booze reviews, our rants, our cooking videos, our cigar videos, our shenanigans. We've got a lot of content, and we love making it for you guys. So Mostly. If, mo mostly, mostly. So if you want just honestly a great beer, no matter what you're into, pick up some Yingling's Black and Tan because you will not be sorry. Mm. Cheers.